Hi guys, and welcome back to the series, The Butterfly That Brought Us Together, written and narrated by Stacey Holt. As always, if you'd like to share your support, you can like, subscribe, and comment. Now, chapter 19, Partners. He made his way back to Marinette's, and she was still asleep in her bed. He crept down the ladder, making sure not to wake her, and curled around her, feeling her warmth surround him. He wrapped his arms around her stomach and laid his head on her shoulder, feeling her breathing lift him up and down like soft ocean waves. After a few seconds, he felt her heart beat a little faster and felt her head tilt toward him. He saw her ocean blue eyes look down at him, but they were still red and puffy. How are you feeling, princess? He whispered. I'm fine, she smiled again. Why are you lying to me? He frowned, lifting his head to look down at her. I'm not. All right, why are you lying to both of us? He frowned. The question hit hard as she remained silent, and she threw her hands to her face to hide behind them. You can talk to me. It's just, I'm not, I'm tired, cat. He lifted her arms away from her eyes and found her crying underneath. LB, he whispered. I'm not LB anymore, she cried. Yes, you are, he whispered as he smiled. No, I'm not. I gave Tiki up. I went and talked to Master Fu without you. And last night was my last night as Ladybug and I... I just got done talking to Master Fu. I convinced him to give Tiki back. He smiled, wiping her tears away as her eyes widened. You... what? You'll always be my love bug, he chuckled. You went to Master Fu and convinced him? How? You didn't give up your miraculous, did you? She glared, not convinced that he simply convinced Master Fu so easily. We're the perfect duo, my lady. He knows that. I guess he saw how lost I was today fighting without you. He laughed. There was an Akuma fight today? Yeah, and I did terrible without you. I need my partner. He smiled. Who replaced me? No one. No one could ever replace you. Though I may have been a little harsh to them. <laughs> what did you do? She laughed. I may have yelled a little. I was angry. I was hurt you weren't there. They were so happy and I wanted you back. He hugged her tighter. Oh, kitty. She smiled. Thank you. She smiled, kissing him, feeling him kiss her back. Who would have thought that a little butterfly would have brought us both together? He smiled, looking into her bluebell eyes. Thank you so much for watching. The next chapter will be available soon. If you haven't already, you can go check out my other series called Melting, Thunderstorms, and my Halloween special called A Monstrous Night. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!